It really looks like he's holding on to nothing. Hello, I'm Tom Randall and today I am joined by Magnus Mitbo, pro climber and YouTube. In today's episode, we're going to be breaking down video clips of his collaboration with Adam Ondra. It was really sketchy just spotting him on that one. It's so much higher than it looks. It looks high in the video. Yeah, it's even higher in real life. Had you seen the video of this before? <laughs> yeah, I'd seen the video before. Uh, it's one of Adam's most popular videos. So we kind of knew that it was like an interest for it. Uh, and it's a really cool story about the priest. I don't know if you saw the video. Yeah. But um, the priest who did the first ascent because he thought that someone else had done it or something and then he was actually the first one to do it. How hard would you say it is as a, a bold problem? It's probably only 8 day plus, but like a really awkward uh, 8 day plus. Like a font style 8 day plus, I guess. And also kind of scary, you know. If you don't have enough pads, you should definitely use a rope. Adam actually suggested that we try it with a rope instead, because it's so high. Did the police get called when you did it? Um, not the police, but there was a lady there who uh, did some work on there, or she was, she was supposed to like uh, like uh, watch the bridge or something. I don't know, I don't know what her job was, and uh, she was very skeptical at first when she saw us there. And uh, but when she realized it was Adam Andra, it was fine because he's uh, he's definitely like a national hero now in Czech Republic uh, after the Olympics. So this is your preferred technique. Yeah, that's how he originally did it. It really looks like he's holding on to nothing, you know. And it's very strange. He even he said it, it's easier with just normal approach shoes than climbing shoes. But since I only had climbing shoes, we did it in climbing shoes. As it looks kind of awkward when I'm delaying him there, I'm far from the wall, but that's because it's so steep where you're standing. What did you think when you saw this route? Do you think it looked hard or not that hard? Because this is kind of like, I feel like this is kind of like uh, British style climbing. I was just laughing to myself because I was thinking, how funny this is that you were belaying Adam who's like the master of knee bars and knee pads and I know that you used to insist on not using rubber knee pads because I heard stories of you doing really hard routes with like blood coming down your legs and I wonder whether you were laughing at Adam doing this. Well the reason I didn't use knee pads is just because I always thought that skin was better than rubber. Uh, so it's not really that I think it's cheating or anything. Um, some people do think it's bad. People say it's, they joke and say it's aid climbing if you use a pad, but I don't really care. As long as you're honest about what you're doing, like people can see that it's using knee pad. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I just personally never liked uh, to climb with a knee pad. I always felt like my leg was like so stiff, like bent the whole time. So yeah. And when you when you went over there and did this collab with him, were you thinking? Oh my goodness, what project is he going to take me on locally? Is it going to be some disgusting, like, yeah. can't even pull on and do the moves type thing? Was there that kind of apprehension of the that's, collab? That's, exact, that's ex exactly what I thought, yeah. This is going to be just, there's not going to be any holes on this project. It's just going to be awkward. It's, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Um, and it was sort of like that, so. <laughs> For the month of March, we've teamed up a flash to give away a Drifter Crash Pad and their new Bolt Brush. All you have to do to enter is number one, like this video, and number two, make sure you're subscribed to the Climbers Cry YouTube channel. Okay, what's the story behind Mono Under Cling Boulder? What's going on with this? Did you sandbag him? Uh, no, because I originally thought that it might be possible to do a Mono Under Cling, and Adam said no, I think. Uh, and I didn't do it like a mono under cling, even though I suggested it. And then he ended up doing it as a mono under cling. Uh, so it's kind of like I used his beta and he used my beta for that boulder. Ah. Uh, yeah. So did you specifically set out to make something of that exact style? No, we didn't make that boulder. That was just at the gym. Ah, so you had no input? No. So, uh, but this was just at a, like a normal gym and the 7C was just there, so uh, 
Yeah, we didn't set this. Okay. And is there quite is there quite a big difference between the way I'm guessing this is the first time that you've done a video collaboration with Adam and his team. Is there yeah. If you were to go behind the scenes and everyone was to look at Team Ondra and Team Magnus, would it look quite different? Because I there's saw- not much, There's not really a Team Magnus though. <laughs> yeah, what's it look like behind the scenes? Uh, behind the scenes, Adam has five or six people, I think. Uh, so kind of a big team. I just have, Marcus helped me film and I also did a lot of the filming myself uh, for this. So when I'm not on camera, I usually film. Um, and uh, but it's only Marcus and me and then from his side there's like a social media expert uh, there's his manager his assistant he has a lot of different people his coach but when we were filming these videos it was mainly just him and me because uh, yeah there wasn't really a need uh, a need for anyone else That looks hard. Yeah, it's very hard. And uh, it's also very like friction dependent, you know, how your skin is and everything is important. And when I just felt the holds, I had no idea if I could actually hold them. Uh, so it's not like I tried off cam. This is actually, it was actually the first time I tried it. And Adam's record here was like 14 seconds, I think, which is just insane. So is this his own home gym area so you're trying to do his challenges in the place yeah. that he's very good at yeah he he bought this gym because someone was gonna it was gonna close down or something uh or it was gonna someone wanted to buy it and he was afraid that they were gonna turn it into something that he didn't like so he bought it instead to keep it the way he wanted so it's definitely it's his gym i think he, he's been training in here from when he was a kid so yeah, it, lo it looks so hard. Like I, everyone knows that when you go to someone else's home ground, it's just desperate. I, like big kudos to you for just going and trying it. And <laughs> trying it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. So, who who makes this big wooden sloper thing? I think it was a present from someone uh, or something. It's. Uh... <laughs> it's uh, just doing like hanging from it felt pretty okay but like actually moving like doing pull-ups was just impossible for me yeah uh, and I don't even know what type of strength that is to to be able to do pull-ups off of that YouTube's recommended this video just for you go on give it a watch <laughs>